apparently Harry is trying to steal William's shine. <laughs> I just heard someone utter this preposterosity on um, one of those shows in um, in UK. I don't even know which one it was at this point. They all just merge into one blob of just ridiculousness, as I have said repeatedly. But this one woman, whatever her name is, I don't even know. She said she's a she's a rising star in the sense that she's like a hater. But she recently started a YouTube channel and she has quite a, a huge following after not a very long time. So, you know, she's probably paying for promotions and stuff like that behind the scenes. But still, you know, so she was um, talking about the fact that Harry going to New York in September at the same time that William is going to New York is you know, a way for Harry to steal William's shine. (laughs) I just thought that was so funny because William is the next king of England, at least the purported next king of England, they tell us, right? So, I mean, there is no bigger platform than that. The buck stops there. After that, it's God, right? And you're trying to tell me that his brother being in New York at the same time as he in September is enough to steal his shine? You're telling me that being the next king of England is so irrelevant and so small and so inconsequential that someone else being in New York City at the same time as you steals your shine i mean it it just boggles the mind you know i don't think they they realize what they're saying when they say these things the subtext of what they're saying you know they don't realize this is such a beautiful garden isn't it i mean just absolutely gorgeous anyway they don't realize the subtext of their words you know because if harry can steal william shine just by being in new york then you again william isn't much he really just isn't is kate going to be there with him or is she battling cancer maybe she's battling cancer anyway yeah so i'm out walking and i'm just like taking in all of the little cute French houses, these little houses, you know, very much, you know, it's very different from say, you know, the subdivisions in in America, you know, much bigger houses in America. But I I do have a thing for these little houses, especially those behind the fences and the hedges and so on. They're much smaller than we have in the US, but still they have a charm of their own. So I like to like walk around and just look at them and photograph them so do you know bear with me anyway i digress so yeah i mean what do you think about that what that woman said about harry trying to steal william's shine and you know trying to make himself relevant or whatever you know i do think that harry is growing in sort of his stature he's he's getting to be a real man I mean, and I, I, I hope that doesn't come off the wrong way because before, I mean, I feel like he was just kind of a younger version of himself. Obviously, we all are younger before, right? But but he's really sort of coming into his own and maturing like a mature fruit, you know what I mean? And it's like, he's just ripe, he's ready. It's like, he's, you know, on the global stage and he's being taken seriously. He's going to the United Nations and you know, all of the different projects that he's been working on are, you know, without the backing of any big titles and institutions like next king of England or anything like that. This is really beautiful, this gate, isn't it? I mean, he's really just coming into his own and he seems just so confident and just settling into his skin and sort of carving out 
like a global role for himself in the in the international community a name for himself that is independent of his brother independent of his father independent of the monarchy you know it's like and it's a very very i think unique role that nobody else has ever played it's like he and megan together have really created a whole new sort of stature for themselves and position for themselves and name for themselves and and reputation for themselves you know it's like amazing you know they're not a movie stars they're not really you know working royals they're they're not just they're not heads of state but there's something you know it's like something that the world hasn't yet had a title for they're like originals right um it's really fascinating, isn't it? I mean, it's really fascinating. But the idea that Harry is going to steal William Shine just by being there, I mean, I understand what this woman is, is saying because it's true. I mean, Harry being there, who is going to care about William? William does not, you know, hold a candle to Harry. He really just doesn't. Harry is in a total league of his own, really just way beyond anything that William is, unfortunately for William. I mean, William just doesn't have the natural born charisma, as I have said, that Harry just naturally was born with. It's not his fault. It's not Harry's fault, but they want to, you know, make Harry a villain for just being himself, you know, which, which for me is just a foul ball, you know? Anyway, so what else with Harry and Megan? Let me see here now. So, yeah, there was this one story I saw a couple of days ago, actually, or even before, like when when they were in Colombia, I I think I first read that one of Megan's outfits, you know, the brown pantsuit, the sort of silky, satiny pantsuit that she wore in Colombia is actually by Victoria Beckham, you know, and That story has been repeated, and I think I saw it yesterday once again that she was wearing Victoria Beckham, and I was really surprised by that, and I I meant to say something about it, but I I forgot, so I'm I'm raising it now. It's like, I thought I read repeatedly in, of course, the cockroach tabloids that the Beckhams had dumped Harry and Meghan, that they're no longer speaking to Harry and Meghan, that you know that they're no longer friends right so i was quite shocked to say the least to hear that megan had decked out in one of victoria beckham's designs so sussex squad if you know the answer to this question can you clarify for me whether the beckhams and the sussexes are still friends or not i mean why does it even matter i mean I'm not even sure that it does. It's just that the Beckhams are relatively high profile people. They're British and they went to the wedding and so on and so forth and yada, yada, yada. And um, but, you know, since all this controversy, I mean, I, I can't really say that I've seen a lot of public support for the Sussexes from the Beckhams. On the contrary, I believe... David Beckham recently, if he wasn't knighted by King Charles, he certainly was had something to do with King Charles recently that was fairly high profile and made the news. Do correct me if I'm wrong. I don't remember exactly what the situation is, but it seems like there was some kind of collaboration between David Beckham and the office of King Charles or King Charles himself. And I really haven't seen Victoria Beckham going out of her way to publicly support Megan in any way. I don't think she even got any of Megan's jam, for example, when Megan sent all these different jars of jam to her friends. So, yeah, do let me know whether you know, Sex Sex Squatty, um, if the Beckhams and the Sussexes are still friends or not. 
just for my own ed education, you know, I mean, I'm not saying that it even matters. I don't really think that the Beckhams are, you know, they don't really factor into my particular world. I mean, I, I don't really, you know, you know what I mean? It's like, I don't hate them. I don't love them. I'm just indifferent to them. So I don't really care one way or another, whether they, you know, I don't care, but it would, I'm just curious because Megan wore her outfit and I'm thinking to myself, well, you know, if someone, you know, is mean to me and we're not friends or we're whatever, I'm definitely not going to be wearing one of her designs on a high profile global event. You know what I mean? So, so there's that. So what else can we talk about on this little walk? Isn't it beautiful? This park is so beautiful. There's so many beautiful parks in a very sort of close proximity to, you know, Paris 16th and where I live and so on. And it's just, there's no shortage of it. So it's like every day, a whole different walk, which is just really one of the highlights of my day, to tell you the truth, because I, I really like to walk. So, so yeah. So anyway, what else about, I digress. What else about Harry and Megan? Well, I guess that's all for this one. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye.